Welcome back. This week we have a unique situation uh, dealing with no play zones, which are used to be called environmentally sensitive areas. They can either be marked as abnormal ground conditions or in this case, left of the 10th hole at Green Valley Ranch uh, penalty areas. So here we have a celebrity guest, Pat Hamill, founder of the Colorado Open Championships, about to play a stroke. As you'll notice, his ball is outside of the no play zone. He is standing in it. And as he takes his backswing, you'll notice that he also has interference from this bush. So if we pause it there, we can see that his backswing is impeded by the bush. And the bush where his club is coming into contact is actually inside the margin of the no play zone. Now this rule is really unique. First of all, the good news is there's no penalty here. His ball's outside of the no play zone, so he gets free relief from this condition. So let's go ahead and walk through the relief procedure. So again, here is the condition that we're trying to find relief from. So as we roll the film, uh, Pat is going to continue to try to find the place on the golf course where he no longer has interference from the bush that is impeding his swing and that is within the margins of the uh, no, no play zone. So here he's determined that point about right there. No longer has interference. He's pointing to the ground. That's exactly where he's going to then put a tee in the ground. Um, he now gets a, a club length. Um, he doesn't use a driver, but that's okay because this club is shorter than a driver, so he's not gaining any advantage. The driver is the standardized length, but this is just fine. He's now just confirming the spot and dropping it within that one club length that hit the ground, did not roll outside of the one club length, and he's good to go. So again, this is a fairly unusual situation. You're dealing with no play zones. In, a case, in, a, in this particular case, a no play zone that interferes with the player's lie, stance, area of intended swing, but the ball lies outside of it. So again, that's how you proceed. If you find yourself in this situation, stay tuned in another couple weeks for another CGA Rules Reminder.